So look what the camera based controls do with movement. If you want to turn around. Like, okay, there we go. Can I turn back this way? Uh, went too far. No, wait. <laughs> can I... I just, no, okay. Can I turn it? There, no. Too fast. <laughs> it's so bad. Compared to I would just hold the right key and I'd be turning right. Well, I can't show you because the controls are so bad, but I'd just be doing this the whole time. One, one input. No need to move the camera. <laughs> Oop, I thought I had it hit a bit too early. But all of this, instead of just holding to the left. And you can't even move the camera around, because when you start moving the camera to look, see who's coming, your body starts going back and forth, doing a dance, because camera-based controls are absolutely idiotic. So another problem with the camera-based controls is that some games have a reset camera button, so if you're looking over here, it'll reset to where your avatar is actually looking, which is a good enough feature. Not necessarily the most useful if you have a mouse and you're not horrible with it, but it can be useful, and its usefulness is completely ruined when you're using the camera-based controls because you're running at the camera, and then you want to reset so you're looking forward, but now you're running at the camera again because you do a 180 for no good reason other than horrible controls, which I guess that's not a good reason. Whereas if I was using the avatar-based controls, I'd be holding forward this entire time, running in a straight line, instead of making these weird turns. And then, you know, something happens in front of me, I need to look quickly, I could look, and I'd still be running forward. So the avatar base controls are superior in so many ways. All you really need is sensitivity, so that you can adjust it. And that must be easy enough to do because every racing game has sensitivity for your turning, so just make it as if the car is really small, give it a nice turning radius. So along with being able to choose your sensitivity for the turning radius, when you hold down the left or right inputs, they could also have it so that you double tap right turn 90 degrees right, double tap left, turn 90 degrees left, double tap back, turn 180 degrees, and uh, I don't know that I've ever seen a console have double tapping, a joystick, perhaps they have in a fighting game, I could see it happening, but I don't think it's ever been done with movement, however, uh, a lot of games don't really use the gamepad well and you could have it bound to the bumpers or even the triggers depending on the scenario 